Hello everyone, in this video we are going to implement the singularity functions for drawing the shear force and bending moment diagrams in MATLAB. So the question says using singularity functions applied in MATLAB version of your choice, draw the shear force and bending moment diagrams for the beam loaded as shown in the figure below and determine the position and magnitude of the maximum bending moment. So we are going to utilize MATLAB resources to be able to code uh, this problem and be able to draw the shear force and bending moment diagrams. So we have uh, a simple supported beam with uh, and a point load inclined at 60 degrees to the horizontal, uh, 400 newtons in magnitude and acting at 6 meters from support at A can call this one A and I call this B. Then you have a concentrated moment at the end of the beam at B. So now we have to first write down the singularity function. I've already solved this using uh, singularity functions and therefore check in the description of this video to pick the video that will uh, explain to you how to write down the shear force equation and the bending moment equation using singularity function. That is a, a simplest method, simpler than method of, uh, of, of, of uh, graph, uh, method of uh, sections, that uh, all those uh, methods are tedious and time consuming. The method of the singularity function will be simple, basic, and will not be able to consume much of your time. So these are the functions. This is uh, the shear force function written in form of uh, the singularity functions. So we will have 300x into x minus 0 to power 0 minus 400 sine 60 uh, into x minus 6 to power 0 minus 80 into x minus 0 to power 1 then plus 80 into x minus 4 to power 1, then plus 365 into x minus 8. Then uh, the bending moment equation is a matter of integrating the shear force because we know, we know that uh, the bending moment x is equal to integral of v of x dx. Okay, so I just integrated that. I get 302 into x minus 0 to power 1 minus 400 sine 60 into x minus 6 power 1 minus 80 out of 2 into x minus 0 squared plus 80 out of 2 into x minus 4 squared minus 365 x minus 8 power 1 then plus 200 this is 200 200 into x minus 8 because the concentrated moment acts at a distance x is equal to a and therefore the distance from the section would be x minus a power zero because it is a moment if it was um, we are looking at uh, maybe the shear force equation then we would have 200 into x minus 8 power negative 1 but uh, all that be still becomes zero because where you have uh, this uh, because this is supposed to be like x minus a so where you have uh, a greater than x that function will be zero where you have any any less than zero that one also reduces to zero so we would include it here but because still it is zero we will not uh, put it in our shear force equation. So now we have two equations V of X and bending M of X which is the bending moment equation and this can be implemented in MATLAB. So let us go and open MATLAB. So this is MATLAB and version 221A. We will first of all clear up the command window because what we when we run this code at the end of the day it gives us answers in the command it displays something in the command window and uh, yeah our answers will be found in the command window and also if it is a plot we will find it in the figure so we clear up the command window then i'm defining uh, just giving the heading 
of this code that this code plots shear force and bending moment diagram so i'm using the command display uh, to display this once i run it should come in the command window so this code plots shear force and bending moment diagrams then using singularity functions and this is done by me so i'm trying to initialize now the values of reactions at the supports all in newtons other one is 302 newtons other two is 365 newtons we need to also initialize the value of load intensity w in newton per meter so w is equal to 80 newtons in the future we can also say we could uh, we could uh, say w is equal to input so i say please enter value of w okay so when i put in the value of w it automatically uses it or stores it in this uh, variable w and will use it in the computations okay um remember our value is w so uh, let us uh, we will implement that one later so let us keep our w as 80 and we keep this as a comment okay now we have to give the distance along the beam remember to leave small gaps to ensure address so here i'm trying to say that if you have the distance along the beam running from zero to eight then you have to create several small portions of the beam so that you are able to get several values of the shear force and the bending moment and this will give you a particular degree of accuracy than if you created values like from 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 8 that would not give you a, a better diagram but if you have several uh, portions of the, the, the same beam small uh, or split into very small pieces then it would give you a natural uh, outlook of the bending moment diagram now using singularity functions we are going to write down the shear force so we have said uh, we have uh, v is equal to r1 into okay this value is supposed to, ma to multiply by all values greater than zero as we say but uh, remember is just a value r1 so we are going to look at it we are going to plot it but uh, this will start from x is equal to zero as we proceed then minus w into x times of course uh, for all values of x greater than zero then plus w into x minus four this is uh, here this is facing vertically downwards these are the other ones facing vertically upward and it is at uh, x minus four from the section so we will plot this value we will compute this value for all values of x greater than 4 then minus 346 this is the same as 400 sine 60 degrees so instead of us putting 400 sine 60 we put 346 which is that particular value then plus other two as we have already given it in here mm. these values are not any different from uh, what we have already given but uh, the only thing i've done is to make these ones unknowns initializing them from the very beginning so that they are stored their values are stored in the other one and other two then they can be utilized in the computation of uh, these values of shear force and bending moments and now uh, we have also noticed that this is x minus zero for x greater than uh, zero this is x minus four for all values of x greater than four uh, this is uh, x minus eight for all values greater than eight this is x minus six for all values greater than six the same thing in the bending moment equation and uh, we will write it like that for a bending moment we already said that you can integrate this 
so that you have R1 times X. Uh, then uh, this one of course was W uh, into X, so if I integrate it, it will be W out of 2 X squared. Then plus W out of 2 times X minus 4 dot. Why am I using a dot here? I'm trying to make it element-wise multiplication. Otherwise, if I don't, I will get errors because these are like matrices and must be multiplied when they are of the same sizes. If they are different, then you have errors. So this is the Benny moment equation and we have to plot these uh, two, the shear force and Benny moment, on the same figure but with the, this command subplot. Means here I'm going to plot um, a figure of two by one. We have uh, two rows and one column, meaning I need to, if it is a shear force, then the shear force diagram will occupy the first position. Uh, uh, it will be blue and with the line width, I'm trying to bold to make the line width uh, higher than normal, so I've set it at 1.5. Then we need to give the title, we need to label the axis, then we need to also plot as we said, we are going to plot these two on the same figure. Then the sub, we, we need to use this subplot to again bring the Benny moment diagram at position number two. Okay, so the Benny moment uh, diagram will be uh, plotted uh, values of uh, M against X. It will be blue and with the line width of 1.5. Then we title, we label, uh, the x and y axis. Then later on, we calculate for the maximum shear force and the maximum bending moment, which can be utilized during design of our beams. All of this is to just help us uh, display our figures to three decimal presses for for the shear force to be measured in kilonewtons. Actually, it should be in newtons. Then uh, the bending moment will be in newton meter and it will be plotted with uh, a floating point of point uh, of three decimal places okay so when i run this it should give me some good answers okay it is telling me that this code plots uh-huh you see this code plots shear force and benny moment diagrams using singularity functions and it has been done by me the maximum shear force is 301.9, that is around 302 newton, and the maximum bending moment is 570 newton meter. And it occurs at x is equal to 3.75 meters from the left support. Let us see the plot. This is how the plot looks like. Okay, thank you so much for watching, and uh, you can see the bending mo maximum bending moment occurs somewhere here okay approximately 570 okay at x equal to 7 3.77 and the maximum shear force is at this point okay and this is approximately also 302 and at the distance is zero so you can see there is a jump here we say the moment a conservative moment causes a jump on a, a bending moment diagram and the point load causes a jump on the shear force diagram so it comes like that and will come back to zero also the bending moment will come back to zero thank you so much